It's so much better than it ever has been because of these products. Want something that works? Try this. It could change your life like it changed mine. like for 10 years or so growing feels like a lipoma I'm not gonna make a huge area here just to check it out first and see always better to be safe than sorry looks like a lipoma too you doing okay yes good I just know if anything's gonna bother you, even like your, the covering on your on your mask or anything, and we can adjust it for you. Doing great. I see it. I'm just trying to see if I can't get it out of a small little area there. Wouldn't that be nice? So it's really kind of starting to protrude a little bit and I'm sure cramping his style. I was just telling him I was watching on TikTok, of course, I got consumed by a, mm. one video of them cleaning the horse, uh, horse's hoofs, like all these different horse hoofs and digging out the dirt uh -huh. and the rocks and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's kind of mesmerizing. <laughs> I got sucked into that, yes. And then I was like, but how, you know, like then they have these nails, like these shoes on. And he said, yeah, that. They're spoiled now. I think they would be. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened there? Did just I feel, feel like I'm little... just trying not to reach up? I tugged on sorry. like a nerve underneath. Um. Yeah. Just on this side over here. I on your left side or on my, my, right. my side? Okay. Sorry about that. I'll put some more numbing under there. I'm so sorry. Was he going to? He or she going to remove it or? It never got that far. They told me oh, not I to see. worry about it. Oh, okay. Well, and I guess that too. then it was so much smaller, so. Yeah, and then it kind of gets away from you sometimes. Yes. It's almost like you wake up and yeah. you're like, okay. Exactly. Where did this go? But he was telling me interesting things about horse hoofs, you know, because I was like thinking that is a horseshoe on them and does it bother them, but it doesn't bother them. And he says now they're spoiled, they kind of need it, you know, they're <laughs> waiting for it. Probably like us in shoes. Uh huh. So I'm just gonna try to squeeze it instead of pulling on it like that. See if it'll squeeze up. Maybe it will. So I'm gonna squeeze ya. Mm -hmm. Nothing should be sharp. Sometimes it's stuck in there because there's like little netting like fibers that keep it in. Come on. Try to loosen it a little more. I think it might squeeze out. Nothing ever transpired before, and then you found out we weren't that far away from you. Huh? Exactly. Okay. Was he booked initially before the pandemic, and then we had to rebook him, or no? He's more recently seen. I don't know. I can't. Know. I came in, I came in last year with the. Oh, you did. Uh huh. Yeah, we already no, because today's Wednesday, so he was already booked. Oh, I see. Because yeah. it depends a lot on the day. Just, yeah, that would make yeah. sense. Because we added a day or something. We added two days to yeah. catch up. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to try to be a little bit gentle here, of course, as always, but trying to loosen it from you a little bit. Again, just tell me if anything ever gets a little pinch. I can always add more. Kind of stuck to you. If I get it loosened just so, I just pop out. Still, I still have hope. You okay? I'm mm -hmm. just tugging on no, it now. No, it's fine. Okay. Because it's also safer, kind of, you know, when I tug on it, because then I don't use anything sharp. I'm trying to minimize using things sharp underneath there. I can't see. Come on, just pop out. Now I start yelling at it. <laughs> awesome. Just going to get a little tug on it. You okay, still? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seat. This is where I get 
did my joke, like, if I can only detach your head from your neck, it would make <laughs> life a lot easier, but sorry, we can't do that. Oh, it just needs to be taken out slowly, that's fine. I can do that. In pieces now. I think it's more gentle on you and less tugging on you. Got another little tug. You okay? Uh huh. Sorry. I had one on the neck, a little higher up. And the gentleman for the show, much bigger one. And we had to take it out in little pieces too. And that was pretty recent, so this feels like an anticlimactic, if, if that makes you feel better. That's good. <laughs> did a horse packing ride tour like in June Lake when oh. I was younger. Uh -huh. It was pretty exciting and fun but scary because I don't really, you know, the horses can intimidate you if you didn't grow up with them. They're very big. Because they're big. <clears throat> they're so yeah. strong. But it was a fun trip. That's great. The worst thing about it, I already told my girls, is I guess I'm going to just say this on video. For the whole week I didn't poop. <laughs> I was with my dad, and I told my dad like the last day, and he like flipped out. He's like, "What?" Because <laughs> we had big meals, you know. My dad's a doctor. He was like, "What?" Uh -huh. He was thinking like, "I'm gonna go to the hospital and we have an impaction or something." Did I ever tell you guys that? I'm sure I did. <laughs> You've forgotten. I told you that. I, it sounds familiar. Yes, maybe I told it in a different way. <laughs> I think it sounds familiar. We've got probably half of it. Just trying to be gentle down here because I know that, that it tugs on you and it's a weird sensation. Uh -huh. It's kind of, as you could kind of feel, it was kind of stuck at the base. Uh -huh. It's not like you could bobble it all around, you know. So I'm just trying to take my time and see if I can gently detach it, like we said. Possibly. So just pull that up like that, maybe on that side, like that, yeah. I'm almost to the under part of it. Just try to be nice and gentle. It's, I know it's a little awkward. It's not like you can have a full blown conversation with me because it's right <laughs> on your neck. Are you feeling a little bit? No. Okay, good. Almost, otherwise, I can add more numbing, but I can see it's right here, too. Put a little bit more off here. You're doing awesome. Okay, let go of that for me for a minute. Thank you. Just hold on to it for a second. This side down a little bit like this, and this side. Thank you. these videos with you? Is it you by yourself? Me. you have any friends? No? They watch it? No? No? No friends? Popaholic friends? You I have them? several friends who oh. are 
who love watching Aww. your show. So they're going to watch this with you. They're going to get their popcorn. They will. Well, you have some crazy ones on your trailer for this new yes, season. Yes, I know. <clears throat> yes, I know. Believe me, the girls know too. The girls know too. There's a trailer already? Yes, I know. Before we even do them, some of them. That's what I don't love about it. Okay. We're almost there. I just want to see if any of them squeeze out now. Pull that edge there. Mm -hmm. A little bit. You kind of feel it under there. Actually, let me see. Let me feel it again. Sometimes I have to feel it first. Yeah. I see a little bit something right here. Start over here. I want to give that side a rest. Let's see if I can pull this out. This one's uh, stuck to you, so there is a more of a risk that it could grow back a mm -hmm. little bit, maybe, but hopefully not. Just because it's like, it's really kind of stuck to you in the bottom that I have to slowly, it's like, I don't know, peeling paint or something. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Just like, scrape it off a little. Yeah, little by little. I'm just trying to be gentle. Can you pull this back a little bit? Here we go. Something coming up. Sometimes if I just wiggle it, it's nice because it pulls out and then I feel like I get very satisfying but also I feel like I'm getting getting it fully so if you can tell me give me a little tug as long as it's yeah, not it's bad fine. Okay, good. that actually is helpful and safer again I know it's stuck see I know it's stuck a little to your muscle there so it's like when I tug you can feel me pulling on you but you're doing great When, it, when I get all close to the edge, it makes people feel it. And in a way, it's not, they don't like it, but it's good too, because then I know I'm near the bottom of it, right. I'm near the edge of it. So I'm actually, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a message to me. And that actually is something positive because it makes you not be able to go too far in a way. As long as people can hack it and you can hack it, you know. Almost there. I'm just gonna pull a little bit of this now. Almost got it all. I know there's a little bit here that wants to pull out. Just trying to get it. It's right here. See that? It's coming. Okay, let's just take a break for a second. I like to just break and look away and then look back. Because mm -hmm. we just got the last little bits of paint kind of thing. That looks pretty good on top. Let me see that. I'm just going to look around first. This above side looks pretty good. I don't think that is really much of anything there other than regular fat. And there's a little bit right here that I think I can pull off. Must be Jeff buzzing something. Side. Upper side feels pretty good, huh? I don't feel too much there. Now it's just this lower side. So, lower side. Just trying to find. Sometimes they're like tucked underneath something, and I just have to find out where it's tucked, where the opening is, and then it pops right out. Yeah, 
this is the, okay that's why remember the side here there's like a little jutting out that's where it is okay i got it i'm pushing against you okay uh -huh. and i think it's gonna ease out of here now i just remember that All right, but how about when you have a horse that has an abscess? I can't bear those. Do ne never send that to me. Those are the worst <laughs> videos ever. I have people send me that and I can't even look at them. Those they're, are terrible. Yeah, they're very, very They're painful, like a waterfall. But, yeah. Are you okay with those? Are you like, oh my gosh, let me add them? Because you know what I mean? You can watch these kinds of videos or are they gross? Um, it doesn't matter. You just don't want me. people to be in a pain, right? Yeah. That's all. Okay. Uh -huh. Got that little pooch out in that corner. I just want to make sure we get the whole thing. No, those are gross to me. <laughs> They're very hard to treat too. Are they? Mm -hmm. Do you sometimes have to put the horse down because of it? Or um, not? not usually, but um, Why they, they can be pretty treat? serious. Um, just because the hoof is so. The deep. hoof? So, uh -huh. It's a hoof? Oh, I thought it was like their leg or something. No, they're Maybe. usually in their feet. Oh. Yeah, in their foot. Because they stepped on they something? They step on and... a rock or something like that. Oh. Or, or, and they get a bruise and it abscesses Got inside it. the foot. Yeah. So it's not like necessarily a cyst that they get. It's actually trauma. Yeah, trauma. They can take a long time for it to heal. And, and do you usually spot it pretty soon? or? Can yeah, because they get very lame very quickly. Oh, I see. Yeah. It hurt, it's sensitive to their yeah. feet or everything, probably. Yeah, they have a lot of oh, lamina and sensitive wait, and they have to, they're on their foot. parts in their foot. Because they sleep standing up and everything, right? They do. That's crazy, too. How is that comfortable? Their legs actually lock into joint when they go to sleep so they don't fall down. Crazy. I'm glad that humans can't do that. <laughs> it'll make us like, it'll make me be here all day or something. <clears throat> I'm gonna go take my ten minute break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just stand in, just, just stand in the corner. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> well, like flamingos and things, right? They might do that too with their foot tucked under yeah, or something, I feel like. Yeah. All right, I think we pretty much have it. Just fussing around a little bit delicately. Just to see, because I feel like if you leave one little bit in there, sometimes it could make it, you know, grow back. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to. Minimize that. Obviously, if I'm ever hurting you, don't please don't hesitate because I'm pulling close to the base. Mm -hmm. It feels fine. There's something I feel like right under here. I don't necessarily need to search for it either. You know what I mean? There's something tucked. Let me see if I can get that out. Just a little bit. There's like little, they find like these little nooks and crannies, I feel like, like a English muffin. Like it finds these little nooks to kind of hide in. Attaches itself. Yeah, and then there's like only one opening to it, you know, like, but mm. it's like folded over, folded over to skin. And if you don't find that opening, it won't, you can't like, you can squeeze it all you want, but it doesn't got to squeeze out because right. there's no opening to squeeze out of. You just feel it there under the skin. So sometimes you just got to futz with it a little bit and come at it different angles, squeeze it a little bit. That's why I come back and look at it again. I kind of go to one side and then come back to that side. It feels pretty good, but I know there's tiny little pieces in here. That's hard to futz after all of them. I'm trying my best. I'm just gonna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It looks so nice though, much flatter. Good. massage and then something pops out a little bit.
kind of like finding pearls when you see those oysters and they uh -huh. pull them out from underneath there. Uh, do I watch weird videos or do you guys watch those? <laughs> Christy, do you watch videos like that? Have you seen the pearl ones too? Uh, I love those. The yeah. pearl ones? Yeah, they pick up oysters and then they squeeze the oysters and out they pop these little pearls. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes there's people selling them on like Facebook and they have like strong yeah, accents. Yeah, they have like a whole little business on Yeah, that. they're like, and they're talking on the phone and they're like, hey y'all, yeah. my boyfriend, he acted up last night when we were at the <laughs> bar. And while well, they're pulling out like, <laughs> yeah, it's like you're, it's like having yeah, like you buy the oysters but now it's oysters. Yeah. And, yeah. and they go, look, this one came out of yours, this purple, <laughs> purple silver one. That one's really precious and stuff like that like people's names and go this one's they that you buy them and then they're named after you and then you open them in front oh. they open them in front of people yeah. yeah you watch the same things i do you're gonna have to find them i bet if your yeah. phone's in here it'll it'll turn on like, you know <laughs> or i'll call on my phone because it's on here in here and i'll send it to you all right i'm about to I'm about to quit i'm just i do last look a few times here uh-huh against you here just to see if anything pops out. Feels pretty good. Yes. It is a mobile. Office. I called it the trailer so many times when he said that, I was like, oh, yes. we <laughs> here soon. We have a checkout, new checkout hour because of COVID. That we oh, don't yeah. go in a circle. We move people to outside, so we had to get like a mobile, a mobile office, office outside. <laughs> we all call it a trailer. Who's <laughs> done? stitches in. I'm putting stitches in that stay under the skin. They get absorbed over time, so that gives it strength. Um, like probably they get absorbed in like uh, about six to eight weeks, uh -huh. but the top ones are going to come out in like a week. Uh -huh. um, I probably, I might even put a running in here. Do I have the small one? If not, I can yes, still do it. Six. Oh, that's fine. Oh, is it a proline or is it a nylon? No, it's a nylon. That's okay. I'll just use a nylon. That's fine. We're gonna, we can see you in seven days to take out the stitches unless you have somebody who wants to take, who can take them out for you. Okay. Looks good. Pulling out the V-necks. Oh, <laughs> V-neck time. <laughs> Do you miss the V-necks too? V-necks are nice. It's just, you know, you get conscious of it and yeah. just trying to cover it up all the time. And the fact that you can't wear something annoys you more. It then you, does. Then you kind of want to. And then somebody will see it and they'll be like, oh my God, what is that? I'm not a turtleneck person because I have like no neck, I feel like, and I feel like it makes my neck look like it's gone. It's a little too warm to be wearing. Yeah, color. right now, for sure, right? Probably most of the time in, in California. Yeah. So what I would say is make your appointment and then uh, we'll see you in, uh, if you want to make, do it yourself, or you have somebody that can help you do it yourself. Um, probably if, I can find, yeah. Yeah, then cancel it, then cancel okay. it, and maybe just have it just in case, okay. you know what I mean. And certainly if you want us to take a look at you.
putting little tiny sutras in there too. Very delicate ones. Um, the one challenge for you is going to be trying to kind of cut, put compression on here because it's pretty important for you to keep this smoosh uh -huh. down, pressure on it, because uh -huh. otherwise you don't want it to fill again with, there's an empty space there. Mm -hmm. And it would want, if it, that little blood, you know, loses a little, it would want to collect in there. Uh -huh. There's that, and also don't wait more than seven days to remove this. Six to seven days is good. Okay. So that you don't have little track marks from the suture line. Take it out in pieces. Crazy. Yeah, it looks like shrimp 